We're getting into deep water here this playoff series. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. Game four set to go tonight. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Cut shot. Oh, what a great save by Demko. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Vancouver's won the draw. Takes the puck, but still hangs on to the puck. Great heads up play with the stick by Crew. Good eyes up on the play. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. St. Louis plays it against the boards. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusque. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Yeah, that's a bad pass, and they'll be forced to do this over again. Vancouver's looking to break out. Quick pass to Besser. The Blues gain control of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Dumps it into the Ozone. Looks to pass it to Strong. And he slides it quickly to Pedersen. And that was read perfectly with a play by Pedersen. Fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. St. Louis wins the draw. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Breakaway! Oh, a great hustle to break up the breakaway! That's exactly why you have to have urgency on the back check, James. But when you have that puck on your stick, you have to have the situational awareness and know what's around you. That takeaway is huge. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Vancouver's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Intercepts it at center. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Comes up with the steal. Demko's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Blues win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pedersen's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And there's the save. The Blues get a hold of the puck under man. And a successful clearing attempt. Feeds the puck to Letty. Throws it in. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Holloway's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Gets it out of his own end. Here's a race for the loose puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Takes the pass. And now he angles it across to Garland. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Man advantage fails to deliver. And both teams back playing and even strength with the score still tied. Uh, being a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on that. There was none of that. Nearing the 
midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. An easy pass saved made by Gekko. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. St. Louis wins the offensive zone draw. Now start with the puck. And a great save. Denko's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Lays into the body. Now a quick pass to Shren. Sends it to the middle. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Moves it to Myers. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Receives the pass. Shuts him down. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Oh, and he stops that one. Past the midway mark in this period. We're still scoreless. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And now he passes up to Kairou. Across the line along the left wall. Fires it on net. Great glove save. Thomas wins the offensive. Face off, and here we go. Big time stop there. Demko's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. They've got numbers here. Oh, great plus save by Bennington. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Canucks win the faceoff. Quick shot. That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block. Takes it across the blue line. Quick shot. Just wide. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast. Hit the net. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. Here's a hit. Puts it into Cooper. Oh, and it's intercepted. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Here's a shot. Scores. Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow. They almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Vancouver's got the game's first goals. It finally comes in the back half of period number one. Yeah, it's been a real tight opening period. Uh, both teams back and forth, defensive style of play here. But James, they get the first goal at the back half of this first period. I expect things to open up now. A little more creativity to shine through. Devastating collision against the wall. Great reach with the stick by Bushnevich. Slides it back to the blue line. stages of this period. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Pedersen. Handles the puck from the left side. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. And now he moves it quickly to Dayarnay. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Pushes it across to Strong. Handles the puck. Turned aside with a glove by Vinny. Suter 
Warriors won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that one's turned away. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Hughes knows he has a point streak going here, and when the puck's on your stick and you're feeling that confident, you direct everything to the net, and sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes it's just skill. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Connor. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. I really like the push back to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. You know that goaltenders have been taught to drop into that butterfly position and really try to cover a majority of the net, trying to make themselves as big as possible, James. But the shooter, guess what? They work on their accuracy, and this is pinpoint as it's buried home. Shots on net. They're lucky this game is still time. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Miller's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Besser. Looks to set up at the point now. Denies that opportunity. Angles it over to Miller. And that's intercepted by Thomas. He's got a step on a breakaway. Big time save. He was dialed in there. Well, he has the benefit of seeing it coming here, James. So he gets himself set to position he anticipates. I think he has a hook on the shooter, to be truthful. And he makes a save. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. And a great save. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. 
Here's a short pass to Garland. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Sundquist. Moves it to Bluger. And he retreats with the puck deep inside his own end. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blow stopping the play. Well, the coach really just wants an explanation as to why his team continues to get the call here. And I think also just putting the ear on the official right now wants him to know that he's not happy. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Quick feed to Messer. Here's an opportunity. Turn the side with the club by Bennington. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Great heads up play with the stick by Kapanen. And that turns off a body in traffic. A shot. Big stop right there. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Scores! Putting the special and special teams, they take the lead! And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. A oh man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. The Canucks have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Oh, Smart has a play to put that one away. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. The Canucks play it along the boards. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Besser's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. And he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Slides it diagonally to Bushnevich. Dumps the puck in. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Pass across to Miller. Slides it across. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Krug. He takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. They put the puck into the offensive end. Pinned up along the boards. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. And he slides it quickly to Letty. And a poke check knocks the puck away. St. Louis has it in the offensive end. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Only oh, just not enough of that to keep it out. Passes it over. And he takes the dish. The score! And that's back-to-back -back goals. Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row. They come. Well, the goalie's dropping to the butterfly because he can't see the puck. I mean, they work on tracking exercises all the time, but you can't see it when you got bodies in front of you. So this is a smart shot that makes its way to the back of the net.
certainly tell that the coach is not happy behind the bench after that last goal. He'll be preaching good habits and details. He doesn't like it right now. The Canucks have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. And the puck leaves the zone. Play is called for offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Canucks have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Sens won the draw here in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Joseph. Picked up along the wall by Falk. Quick pass to Shen. Jostles the puck loose. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. The Canucks have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. Suters won the draw inside the neutral zone. Puts it on net and makes the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Has won it in their own end. And a good solid hit on that play. Huge steal in his own end. Faxa's got it along the wing. Tries to feed it over to Strong. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Fires it. Can't get it to go. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Here's a short pass to Holloway. St. Louis plays the puck from the corner. From off the wall and onto a stick. Nice feed from the left side of the middle. Off target. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. Gains the zone through center. All oh, the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping call. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage of this power play. The first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And the puck clears this up.
That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Luger's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. St. Louis goes to work in the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Joseph. Throws it on goal. Demko's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Pareko. That's some good footwork to kick it away. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Pyro's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they win the draw here in their own end. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Moves the puck over to Bushnevich. And now he moves it to Kairou. The Blues run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on. And a good, aggressive habit there. And it leads to the kill. Here in the late going to the frame. Vancouver's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Goalie makes a save. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The center can fly into position. Pedersen's won it off the faceoff. Myers works the puck in his own zone. They gain the zone from the left side. And he keeps possession. Toss it up on the play. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Teams are readying themselves at center ice as the third period is about to go. The third and final period is officially underway here. Moves it to Besser. Turns it away. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Canucks are up 3-1. Miller's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. over the disallowed goal and the coach he doesn't agree with it they they have all their video review people in place and all of their coaches and in intel and they disagree with the call face off coming up here and they certainly look hungry to answer back after that non-goal call st louis takes a hold of the puck in the neutral zone centering feed and he denies that great opportunity there works it across to besser and he slides it quickly to DeBrus. Sends it across. Left save made by Bennington. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Benz won the draw inside his own end. Shuts him down. St. Louis is on the attack. 
Puck picked up by Joseph. Demko's got it. And I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Oh, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. The Canucks start with the puck in their own end. Dishes it off. And that's off target as it hits a body. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Besser. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Pushes it across to Sundquist. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denies it in front. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going and he was ready for it. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't maintain possession. Levels him with the hit. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Blues carried along the wall. Kyra is exploring options with the puck. Stones up with the blocker. Susie's got it in the defensive end. Moves it in front, and that's intercepted. Sends a pass over. Moves the puck. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Thomas carries the puck in his own zone. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Puck scooped up by Thomas. Denies him! The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. The Blues gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. The Canucks take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Broberg. Letty's got it in the offensive end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Sherwood. Looks to get the puck over to Saad. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. But he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. And he gives it over to Hughes. The Blues have it now. Quick pass across to Heinen. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Oh, this is definitely a goal that they'll want back, James. I mean, two huge things went wrong. You have a gaping mistake in terms of your coverage and also managing the puck. You gotta do both if you want to get the puck out of your zone. The Canucks probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always the word that coaches talk about. If they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Still has possession. No, 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 no. Quick shot. Moving the puck through his own zone. Grabbed along the board by Holloway. The Blues have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Torchenko. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Torchenko's taking it from his own end. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sunfist tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Pareko's got the puck in his own zone. Sends it over to Letty. They've got numbers. Vancouver's got the puck. Takes the feed. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Feeds it over! And he makes a save there! Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Here in the later stages of this period, the Canucks lead at 4-1. Vancouver's won the draw, they'll go to work. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. 
Oh, look at this chance. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Slides the puck over. The Canucks played along the wing. Takes the shot. And there's the save on the play. Big stop by the keeper. And now he moves it quickly to Cece. Too much traffic in the lane. Trying to gain a step. He's in. With the pass. And he elects to explore his options. Inside the offensive and now down the left. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Vancouver's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. St. Louis on the attack. Puck is frozen and he's going to stop it in play. The Canucks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Drills them. Passes the puck over to Joseph. And just hitting the final minute now in regulation of this blowout. has gone with the shoot first mentality all night long but they just have not been able to capitalize as they trail in the third cut grab by Perica. Backhander and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go st louis has not been able to finish in this game with all of those chances and all of those misses it's a reason why they have to find a way to capitalize if they want to generate some momentum and find a way back in this one Late goings of this period. The Canucks are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. St. Louis has it in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Cruz. Slides it across to Faxa. Here they are on the attack. Quick pass to Hughes. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Puck sent over to Bluger. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Krug. Luger's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass into the shooter. Pareko's got it across the line. Shot! Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Four games into this series, two wins at one end of the ice, and two at the other after the response tonight. Well, and the runway's getting shorter, right? Which means the intensity is ramping up. And hey, when teams play four games back to back against one another, guess what? It gets heated anyways. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.